Hi girls, you asked me to do a tutorial on retinoscopy sphere sphere using the axis cross method and here I am giving it to you. So, um, I've been the ion text um, link and here we've got the retinoscopy simulator. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to change my working distance to, do, to diopter so that my calculations would um, be correct at the end. Um, here you've got the patient information, hyperopia, myopia, myopic um, and so on. And here you've got the formula, and the formula is the last um, thing, the last result that you aim to get. Here we're going to be using the minus cylinder form. So let's start by hiding our information to ourselves and to make sure that um, that we're doing it correctly so I'm gonna shuffle here and as you can see here I'm sweeping it's with it's an against motion sorry and if you didn't notice it there's a bit of break in the red reflex of the of the um, eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my beam so that it would be um, aligned with the uh, red reflex of the eye. So here I think it's aligned at 130. So 130 degrees is one meridian. Obviously the other meridian since it's regular astigmatism, the other meridian would be um, 40, so 40 uh, degrees. So let's try it. Let's go here and hold on. Let's write everything again. So I've already made the list here. Let this be 40 degrees, and let this be 130. Um, or, just to do everything correctly, let's just do everything all over again so you wouldn't mess up. I've got the 40 degrees axis and the 130 degrees. So, this axis is the one for 40, and this axis is the one for 130. Okay, and here, just so that no one would forget, this is the axis cross. Okay, let's start refracting. Go over here, we've got our, um, be rotated at 130 and we see an against motion what are we gonna do minus lens gonna start increasing them still against so we're gonna keep on increasing against increase still against but we're getting closer as you can see um really close now still against with so we're just gonna go a little bit less than that, maybe minus 5, hold on, against, so it's minus 5. I hate um, that this is really fast, so... Ah. Okay, this is going to be a while. Minus 5, please. Please minus five. Okay, there we go. So we've got minus five. And it's neutralized as you can see. We've done the re reversal and everything and now it's neutralized. We made sure that this is the neutralization. So let's go all the way to four. Okay. Here, as you can see, um, it's uh, with motion, so it's less than minus 5. It's, 
it's the uh, minus 5 is a little too much, so we're going to go a little lower than minus 5. Let's just um, write, um, record the minus 5 that we got. We got minus 5 on the 130 axis, didn't we? So let's just put that here. Um, minus 5. And now we're going to see what we're going to get on the axis 40. So, since the minus 5 is a little too much, we're going to go a little lower. And see, still too much. Hmm. Now it's still too much. Still too much. Okay, let's take it off and see. Ah, there we go. It's still a width, so it's on the plus side. Let's put, add this one, and it's still width, so we'll just increase. Haha, -ha, there is our little against again. So the plus is a little too much now. So we're gonna go. It's a little too strong for the, for this reading. And we've got neutralization at plus quarter, a uh, plus three quarters. Sorry. So we've got a neutral system plus three quarters. If we did the reversal, we should be getting an against motion at plus one. Correct? I believe so. So let's just put that in, which is plus plus 0.75. Okay. So the result is now, now we've got the, the complete axis cross here. So the result will be um, the more plus first. And the more plus here is obviously plus three quarters. So before we put it in the result column, we're going to um, take out our working distance. So we've got plus 0.75. And you want to see, um, you're going to subtract your uh, minus, so you're going to subtract your working distance here to meet it's 2. So it's going to be minus 0.75. instead of 2, it's going to be minus 1.25. How do we get that? We're going to say plus. 0.75 minus 2 and you obviously get this number okay so since we're, we started with the more plus as a sphere we're aiming towards this minus cylinder form we're gonna add the minus here and then you're gonna um, see how much the difference is between minus 5 and plus 0 0.75 Obviously, it's going to be um, 5.75 because you've got five, that the whole 5 on one end and plus 0.75. If you don't believe me, we'll just calculate this. You're going to put um, minus 5 or if you like to do it the other way, you can just put plus 0 0.75 minus um, 5 minus minus 5 and let's let Google do its thing and it didn't obviously well anyway you just have to leave me then it's minus 5.75 then you put the axis since we used the sphere, um, the axis of uh, since we used the point seventy five for the sphere, we're going to look at the axis of minus five, which is one thirty. So we're just going to put the axis as is, which is one thirty. So our result here is minus one twenty five. Minus 5.75, axis 130. Let's see if that's correct. Minus 1.25, minus 5.75, axis 130. So I've got it correctly, and 
I guess that's about it. If you want me to just make sure of our little um, result here, you may add the whole result and, uh, to the eye with the working distance. So we've got um, along with the working distance. So it's going to be plus 0 0.75 and then a cylinder with at 2030 and a power of minus 0 0.75 and it's supposed to be neutralized at all meridians so we've got neutralization here and here so we've got it correctly. Thanks guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and under you know learn a lot of out from it. And I might be doing one on the power cross just in case. I mean if you like this one.